The content shown in this video are just for the knowledge. The field engineers, all employees, contract laborers who are all connected with the railway works should follow the course manuals and instructions issued by the RDSO and railway board from time to time for the safety of the trains. Welcome and welcome to PV Engineers YouTube channel. In this video, we can see about sanction of Commissioner of Railway Safety, that is CRS sanction. In our Indian Railway Permanent Web Manual, correction slip 7 came on this. The what are all the works requiring sanction of Commissioner of Railway Safety? Before going to see that, we need to know the basic history of the CRS. On 16th April 1853, the train consists of 14 carriages which is pulled by 3 locomotives. Between Mumbai and Thane, 34 kilometers with 400 passengers. During these days, the construction and operation of railway was done by private companies and consulting engineers. Later, Government of India undertook the construction of railways and government inspectors are deputed for the construction and operation. And in the year 1905, railway board was formed. In 1941, Ministry of Transport and Communication was organized. 1961, CRS was formed. Now, nine CRS are under the control of CCRS headquartered at Lagno. Commissioner of Railway Safety is working under the control of Ministry of Civil Aviation, not under the Ministry of Railways. We can see what are all the works requiring CRS sanction. According to IRPWM Correction Slip 7, the Section 23rd of Indian Railways Act. In the Railways Act 24 of 1989, the Chapter 5 says about Opening of Railways. In that, Section 21 says that Central Government should sanction new works and Section 22 says that what are the formalities should be followed for giving sanction of the opening of railways. And Section 23 says that Sections 21 and 22 to apply to opening of the certain works. The what are all the works require the sanction of CRS. And Chapter 7 of the Railways Rules Opening for the Public Carriage of Passengers 2000. In that, Chapter 7 says that what are the works requiring sanction of CRS for the opening of the bridges, minor works, diversions, and use of the new types of rolling stock on existing railways. And some of the works need not to get the sanction of the CRS. In case of emergency, for example, during accident or derailment, for exhibition of any work affecting the running trains or any temporary arrangements, they are need not to get the sanction of CRS. Now we can see exactly what are the works requiring the sanction of CRS. There are five important points shown in the Railway Act. Section 23. First one is opening of any additional lines or deviation lines. Second one is opening of new stations, junctions, and level crossings. Third one is remodeling of yards and rebuilding of bridges. Fourth one is introduction of electric traction. And fifth one is any alteration or reconstructions materially affecting the structural character of any work. These are the five points given in the para 2. And para 3 says that what are the materially affecting works which required sanction of CRS. First one is alteration to points and crossing. Here shifting of points and crossing is not alteration. So shifting of points and crossing is not require the sanction of CRS. Second one, new signaling and interlocking installations or alteration to existing installations. And third one is heavy regrading of running lines involving lowering or rising of track is about excess of 500 mm which requires the sanction of CRS. And new bridges including road over bridge or road under bridge Dismantling and reconstruction of existing bridges, additional and replacement of existing girder bridges, 
temporary girders affecting the passenger running lines these are the material affecting walls which requires sanction of crs and finally permanent shifting of existing level crossing manning and demanning of existing level crossing downgrading and closing of existing manned level crossing and upgrading of existing level crossing to interlocking purpose so these are the material affecting works which requires crs sanction and what are the material affecting works the decision will be taken by the chief engineer on construction and chief track engineer on open lines and also any work which affecting the safety of the running lines that also can be processed for the sanction of the crs by the opinion of cta and cbe